This is Matt Callahan from paperflame.com here with a short video tutorial on the use of Adobe Photoshop CS4's new Rotate View tool. Now to any of you cartoonists or illustrators out there, I think you've probably heard of a program called Alias Sketchbook Pro where they do allow the rotation of the canvas, uh, making sketching and so forth a little easier, or should I say a lot easier. Um, but here we are in CS4 and they also now have the feature. Uh, you almost wouldn't know it was there unless you knew about it and were told about it. So here I go. It's pretty basic. If you go over to the tools palette here on the left hand side, you will see the rotate view tool. Um, you can always invoke it with the uh, letter R on your keyboard. Now let's give it a click. You see my cursor changes over to a hand with the little paper sticking out and the arrow showing that I'm now in the rotate view mode. This also gives you some options at the top, not a lot of them, but there's some. You can uh, put in a static rotation angle here. You can spin it around manually with your mouse. You can reset view to upright back to normal, uh, and of course rotate all windows. Now, pretty basic. To get this spinning, all you do is you click and hold. And there, of course, shows up the compass rows. Um, all you sailors out there would know what I'm talking about, but I guess otherwise you would just call it a compass arrow. Now all you do is hold and drag. Spin it around, pretty basic, pretty fluid. This uses graphic hardware acceleration. I believe it's OpenGL. And, you know, drop it wherever you like, spin it around, go back, reset the view. Okay, so here we are. Now you'll find that, you know, I'm gonna go back into my paintbrush here, but I think we know that, you know, when you're trying to trace something or draw something using a regular piece of paper, you'll find yourself spinning the paper around so that you can match kind of the natural arc motion in your wrist. Um, not so easy at the, uh, with a lot of the design programs on the computer. So, of course, we have it in Alias Sketchbook Pro. Now it's in Photoshop CS4. Uh, and I think, think there's a few other programs out there that do it. Uh, not too many of them. Um, now, say I wanted to follow the curve of this seat here. You know, it's not really in my natural curving position, whereas my natural curve kind of goes like that. and It doesn't quite match it. Well, on a piece of paper, you'd probably just give it a twist. Uh, and of course now we can do that here. So what I'll do is I'll invoke it once again. There's the rotate view. Bring it up to kind of where it's been more of my natural range of motion. I'll grab my pen for my tablet and go over to it. And now once I'm here, I can kind of just start sketching in. Of course I'm kind of just mucking around here for demonstration purposes. Um, but I think you get the gist, and of course you can spin it around some more, maybe get back down to the underside. But once again, pretty basic, pretty simple, just for demonstration purposes, and we can go back to upright by going over to the tool, hit reset view, and there you have it. It's a pretty cool feature. Once again, this is only in Adobe Photoshop CS4. Uh, and that's about it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the new feature. This is Matt Callahan once again from paperflame.com and uh, feel free to stop by and check us out. We've got some other video tutorials there and that's about it. I'm out of here. Bye.